Today I'm going to demonstrate the Irrigatia Solar Water Automatic Watering Kit for use for high rise living. Today we're going to be installing it on a balcony with no water butts. We're also going to be using the Irrigatia Reservoir Kit. We need to choose a nice sunny place to put the pump. In this case we're going to put it on the outside of the growing boxes on the balcony. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to lay the tubing and work back towards where the pump is. As you can see, this is a very awkward place for regular watering. So in this position we're going to use a combination of seat hose and drippers uh, to water the troughs of plants. Put the tube down the back of the trough where it's going to be out of the way and not unsightly. I'm going to attach a, a dripper to the end and then at the other end of the trough I'm going to cut the tube and put a T in with a short length of pipe and another dripper on it. I'm then going to join those two drippers together with a length of seat pose which will water this trough. Back to the second notch. from the T-piece up to where I want the dripper to be in the end of the trough. Now I'm going to cut a length of seat hose long enough to run between the two drippers in the trough so that when the irrigation is turned on the water will be applied evenly along the whole length of the trough. Having concealed the seat hose in the first trough, I am now going to connect a piece of tube to run to the next trough and I'm going to put a T in either end of that trough with a spur on and another dripper and we then repeat the process of installing the seat hose all the way to the end of the, the row of troughs. Having finished the distribution pipe work and connected it to the pump, we're now going to go to the reservoir and demonstrate what to do there. From that tube into the reservoir, I'm now going to attach the filter, which screws on in the same way as the trippers and the T's. And when it's connected, I'm going to push it down to the bottom of the bucket so it's laid on its side and I'm going to bury it with sand. I'm now going back to the pump where I can cut the tube to length and connect it. Make sure that you cut the tube nice and square otherwise it doesn't connect to the pump properly. Marks the inlet, O marks the outlet. Now we push the hose onto the blue connector and we tighten up the Jubilee clip to give a nice watertight connection. Now we're going to switch on the tap and the ball valve will allow the reservoir to be filled. If it's into a pond or a water butt, then the sand will provide extra filtration so that those water sources can be used as well. I'm going to remove the plastic film from the solar panel. I'm going to switch it on and I'm going to fix it in position. We're now going to set up a second unit remaining boxes. The unit will water more when it's sunny and less when it's not. And if it's watering too much or too little you can adjust it using the knob on the side. The only thing you need to remember is to bring it in in the winter time to avoid frost damage. It's that simple. If you need any more information just look at our website www.irrigatia.com